Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 361 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Well, it's a very, very windy day here on the beach and on the water. We went out paddling. We're a crazy group, so, you know, a lot of people would say, ah, oh, no, it's a little too windy today, but uh, 35 knot winds gusting a little higher. But you know what? It's such a great opportunity. As I talk about paddling all the time, it's such a metaphor for so many things in my life. And, you know, on a day like today, when you're paddling, when we are paddling out into the wind and into the waves, life feels so hard <laughs> every stroke is maximum effort there's wind and water and salt in our faces and it's burning and we're loving it which is just a sidebar but then we turn 180 degrees and we, we ride the wind and the waves into shore and it's a completely different experience and it, it, you know, today I'm thinking that, you know, if I can step back from that and just do what I like to do in life and look at things very mechanically, instead of being, you know, personally attached to this particular situation, if I just look at the mechanics, and that's really what people are talking about, this experience of being in the flow. So you can be swimming upstream against the flow, and it's going to be very hard, or you can turn around and you can go with the flow, and it's going to be measurably easier. It's going to be a completely different experience. You know, and right away my brain says, well, well, but what if the direction I wanted to go in happened to be on the upstream side of things? Well, then I have a choice. You know, I can either wait, do something else today, and go to that destination when it's not so windy, or I can choose to go and swim upstream knowing, knowing what it is I'm getting myself into. And having that freedom, having that choice, uh, is what makes life so rich and so wonderful and so empowering because I think most of the time we get so much of our stress from thinking that we don't have a choice and thinking that we have to have to have to do uh, whatever it is that's on the agenda for today but I'm learning that you know I might like to set an arbitrary agenda on Monday it usually doesn't ever happen that way and the more I can say what feels easy and appropriate to do for me or interesting, intriguing to me to do right now, I'm much more efficient at getting that done right now than forcing myself into an agenda that really isn't in the flow. So that's the story for today. I have a couple of little news items. One is that I put a message in yesterday's show about uh, arranging a Skype call on March 3rd, a Saturday, uh, in most time zones. If any of you would like to join me, drop me an email at beachwalks at gmail.com or leave a comment and let me know if you'll be there. And then I also have from Mighty J uh, a song calling out that is available for a free download. So I've been forgetting to put that up and make a mention on the show. I'll put that on the show today too. And I'm also going to post the lyrics from Girls' Night Out because I had asked Mylani for those lyrics. I think they're fantastic. And I'll, I'll post those on both shows today and the uh, interview show, which was 344. They actually sang it on 345, show 345. And that's it. If you'd like to Skype this week, it's Roxanne Darling. If you'd like to call, the number is 949-544-1456. And Lexi and I love you, and thank you so much for joining us here on Beach Walks. Aloha, malama pono, and ahui ho!